Hey everyone, Mitchell back here on my YouTube channel. I'm using my Power to Wise microphone for my very first video ever. It's attached right by my jersey here, and here is a here is the NFL draft recap. And I'm very excited to share it with you guys. And I think a couple of the Packers picks are good. But I was desperately, as I mentioned on Thursday when we could have gotten Justin Jefferson, I was very much ready to have a receiver other than Devontae Adams and Devin Funchess. If there is a season this year, I didn't. I think we need at least one. One more core receiver, but we did not get it. And then there's that's why there's the offseason to figure it out. But we have Chase Young is obviously really in the top of the list. So I knew we weren't getting him. But we did, we did have Jordan Love as a, maybe a potential new quarterback sitting under Aaron Rodgers. But I really don't know about that pick right now. We got to see what he does during preseason games because I just don't. I just don't know if that's a very good first round pick. Just like R Rashawn Gary, even though I'm a Michigan fan, he got hurt a lot last year, kind of in inconsistent player, but it is what it is. The coaches really know better than us. And then A.J. Dillon for Boston College is our second pick, which is a little bit better because we have someone that will help with Aaron Jones. And if Jamal Williams is coming back, I'm not sure if he'll come back, but there, he's the second pick. And then the third pick, I think it's very, very good. I, I know Robert Tanya was pretty good, but... I think Josiah. I think Josiah Dengra. I think he'll be. I think. I think his grades a B minus just because he's from a pretty decent school of Cincinnati, and I think he. I think he's about six foot three. I think he's. I think he'll have potential to the Packers roster, and then we drafted a linebacker from Minnesota to replace Blake Martinez, but I don't really know if he's a linebacker that we really hoped for. So I think the D plus is right, and then. John Runyon, I'm really excited for him being the, being from the University of Michigan. We can have a replacement from Belag, even though Belag has a different position. I think I think that's a very very good move to have to have John Runyon for from Michigan to come to the Packers. So welcome to Green Bay, John. Jake Hansen from Oregon might be a decent player. They did win the Rose Bowl. He's a center, so he's definitely Brian Belaga's replacement. We'll really have to see what he does before the season starts, if there is one. Like like I mentioned. An offensive tackle from Indiana, so we drafted another Big Ten player. He's Simon Stefan, Stefan, Stefanik, excuse me. And then we have a safety at which I really like because at Ha Ha Clinton Dix has been out for a few years. I think I think Vernon Scott from TCU is just very good from watching the highlights, especially I think I watched the highlights the other day of him and during the season. I think he's a very legit player, very athletic, and then. As an edge, lastly, we have from the University of Miami, we have Jonathan Garwin. So, I have a, I think my rating for the entire draft, I believe, I think it's, I think it's a C plus, just because a quarterback could help us someday. But we'll really have to see. And I think I was very much enjoyed the draft. I hope you guys did too, and you really enjoyed watching it. Got our minds off of COVID nineteen a little bit, and this really cool that you just get to go on Google and just see just see the results of all the draft players but I primarily wanted to do it with the Packers and do it today when do it today when my apartment's quiet and just a go way to jump start the week so hope everyone enjoys the day and see you all next time on my next video